how would you capture photos in Power Apps and push those SharePoint document libraries? Ah, see, Shane, I know what you're doing here. You just want to see my pretty face again. So if we go over here, I have built a wonderful little um, Power App to do this. So there's me. Hi. You see my bag of Doritos over there. You know, my desk is quite messy. I forgot that my desk was going to be in the camera. What do you do? So what I did is so I've got a Power App, right? Send a pic to SharePoint. So we're going to say take a picture. So I'll wave. Gosh, I'm not photogenic. I'm going to give it a file name. We're going to say ugly.jpg. And then we're going to um, send some metadata, right? Because a lot of my clients, when they want to do um, pictures or, or, yeah, when they do images, they want, you know, they want file names and things like this. And we could auto-generate all this data. But in the customer story I was solving here, we needed to grab the file name so the user had to input that. And then they were doing a metadata field of it was a type of form. So it was a, a different safety forms and things like that. But I did type of animal, dog, cat, and fish. And I'm a dog person, as you all probably know from Chewy, right? There's a Chewy sticker yeah, right over my head. Um, and so if we hit save to SharePoint. Do, 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 do. Boom. Then we get back, right? Open file in SharePoint. Let's see what I put to SharePoint. Fingers crossed. There I am, look at that. I'm on the internet, I'm a celebrity, I'm a star, gay me. Um, all right, so that's the Power App that I put together. So let's go talk about how that works. All right, so this up here, and, and this one we'll, we'll kind of cheat on, we won't spend too much time in here because this one there is a, literally a, a YouTube video that walks you through building this one from a blank canvas. So this whole one has been documented pretty well before. But so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a picture and so when you take a picture, right, so we're going to set a variable called taking picture, and we're just going to put the camera stream into that. So that's what then is shown here is taking picture. We have some inputs, right, file name and type of animal. And then so we have this thing saved to SharePoint. And so what saved to SharePoint is going to do is ignore this whole set, but it's going to run this, what I have highlighted in blue. Let's talk about that first. So that's going to run a flow called Power Apps Camera to SharePoint dot run. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass two pieces of information over to that flow. We're going to send it the text input one text, right? So ugly.jpg. Oh, and it looks like I already had JPEGs. So I should have just done ugly. Oops. And then we're going to send the taken picture over. And then we're going to send uh, drop down selected value. So we're sending three things over to flow with this thing, with this particular um, press of the button. So let's go over to flow and see where I did that. Oh, I did not have that one open. Oh, rude of me to hide this for myself. Nope, nope. All right. Um, what did I say the name of the flow was? Sorry, I didn't have the tab already open. Power Apps Camera to SharePoint. Control Find Camera. Power Apps Camera to SharePoint. There it is. So let's edit this flow. Okay, so Power Apps is going to be your trigger. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a file. And we're going to put it out in the my shared documents folder out in SharePoint. File name is create file file name that we got from Power Apps, right? So this is saying Power Apps passed over that uh, text input one text, and we're just filling in the file name with that. The second piece here, this is the one where everyone gets themselves in trouble. So file content. Um, data URI to binary. So this is one of those expressions where the way that basically what it boils down to is SharePoint stores images different than every other file system in the universe. So in order to take a normal picture and store it in a SharePoint, we have to convert uh, the data URI that came from Power Apps into binary. So the flow team was kind. They gave us a function, but that's all we have. We do is we run this expression, function, whatever you want to call it. I guess it's a function. We run that function against the file that we passed over, right? Remember we over here, we passed, nope, not there. Over here, we passed the taken picture, right? The, we passed that actual image from, uh, from our Power App. So we're gonna take that file that we passed over and we're going to um, just convert it. So data URI to binary. This is where every time someone asks me, why aren't my images showing up in SharePoint? This is always it. They missed this data URI to binary, okay? So that's what we did. Then we're going to say respond to Power Apps. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to send a 
property called FL for file link back to Power Apps. And what this is going to be is I just did a concat function to grab my SharePoint URL plus the path to the file that we just created. That's how we return the link to the file back to uh, Power Apps. And then we go down here and then I went and I updated the um, file properties with that, um, the, uh, the type of animal, right? So where I chose dog, that's how I wrote dog back to the, the thing. Okay, so then back over here. Okay, so that's the flow. The flow runs, remember the flow returns this .fl. So this is one of those tricks that's kind of neat. So I'm gonna say, I wanna do a set, right? This is how you create a global variable inside of Power App. So set variable to uh, equals the output of this function. And so in this case, or this, this flow, the FL. So that was how we got back the link to the file that we just created up in uh, SharePoint and handed that back to Power Apps. So.